The future of watchmaking was showcased at the 29th Salon International de la Haute Logerie. Audemars Piguet, the oldest Swiss watchmaker still in the hands of its founding family, launched their new collection at the Geneva Fair, their first in 25 years. To see what makes traditional Swiss watchmaking tick, we came to the Ballet de Joux, where this craft dates back centuries. Watchmaking spread around in the Ballet de Joux. In every single farm, there was a small workshop producing wheels, producing pinions, producing whatever component is needed in a watch. The families Audemars, the families Piguet, were part of this very uh, long tradition and they decided in 1875 to set up their own workshop. Watches that we make will last forever. If you come tomorrow with a watch from 1875 or 76, we gotta repair and, and fix and restore the watch, your watch, the way it was done then. So we keep all the craft all the knowledge, all the skills needed to actually be able to fix and repair your watches forever. They've kept their craft alive for over 140 years. And after some iconic designs, the company has been working on a new collection for the last seven years. We decided to challenge ourselves. So we say we go back to the drawing board. So we're going to think casing, we're going to think dials, we're going to think movement, we got to think crystal, everything has to be pretty much reinterpreted or reinvented. And that's what we are doing with Code 1159. The brand only produces a limited amount of watches, 40,000 every year, some of which cost hundreds of thousands of euros. You've got a lot of time spent by skilled watchmakers who have to be trained for years before they even start touching the watches. So sometimes it's four to five years before you even start. And at the end, even the simplest watch could actually take close to three months to manufacture. The most complicated one will need six to eight months to be made. We have over 400 people working on the watches. Maybe 20 could actually touch those watches. Thierry Chevier is one of them. He walked us through the production process in the workshop. Like a space laboratory, the workshop has pressure compensation to keep dust out. In this room, no scratch is forgiven. Even the smallest parts of the watch have to be polished and protected from fingerprints. This movement takes part of our new collection. Here you can see the heart of the movement. It gives the precision of the, of the movement. And if, if I push here, then I give life to the movement. This system of gears and springs took more than five years to develop and has more than 300 parts, some the size of a speck of dust. They are assembled by hand, starting with the main plate, then wheels, springs, and a winding mechanism are added on top to provide the watch with power and precision. We increase the accuracy also the precision of the, of the, of the watch. And in the, regarding the casing, uh, we had put a lot of energy uh, on the dial. One of the main innovations was to develop a 3D logo made of 24 karat gold to be placed on the dial. On the watch face, the brand has introduced a double curved sapphire crystal to improve visibility. Tomorrow's innovation is going to be about three words. Robustness, extreme design, and extreme reliability. And we're going to add a fourth one, ergonomy as well. We've got to take a lot of information from the car industry, the phone industry, the screen industry as a whole, and see what we could do with the watches.